Not all sequels are created equal. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best America's Next Top Model seasons. For this list, we're looking at the most entertaining, fashion-forward, and well-rounded cycles in the series' history. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10, Cycle 16. I really, really think that Nigel made the wrong decision choosing Alexandria as the winner because one, I don't think she's very attractive. Two, I don't think she looks like a model. This cycle had great high fashion photo concepts and some surprisingly good acting challenges, but the model's personal drama overshadowed the season's fashion elements. I just wanted her to go away because there's so much negative energy in me because of her. Alexandria remains one of the show's most polarizing contestants. She was blunt and controlling, and boy did her fellow models detest her. I'm being nice because I, this not. whole time, you're I did not, not want to be mean and say, hey, home. Alexandria, you're fake. Everything came to a head during her confrontation with Britney, and soon, even the judges got involved with Britney and Alexandria's feud. Fingers were pointed and accusations were thrown around, but at the end of the day, Alexandria stayed while Britney's emotional outburst was criticized. As far as being a role model is concerned, to be that outspoken at a photo shoot in front of the photographer, in front of the clients, by the way, Ford were there, was extremely unprofessional. Number 9. Cycle 21 Although this wasn't the first cycle to include male models, it's undoubtedly the most memorable of the three mixed gender cycles. Emotions were running high inside the model home, and it's not an exaggeration to say that each episode was packed with action. This is an From frat boy Adam's fight with Romeo to Chantel calling Usai out for referring to her as a, quote, panda because of her skin condition. I don't want kids out there to see you, someone so high up in the industry, being able to call me panda and then see somebody else with a skin condition and be like, hey, Usai could call Chantel panda, I can call this person a cow. All of that aside, we did get to see some fresh faces, and Chantel, who now professionally goes by Winnie Harlow, has become one of the most successful contestants to date. <laughs> Number 8. Cycle 8. As soon as Natasha uttered the words, I just want to tell you that some people have war in their countries. We knew this cycle would hold a special place in America's Next Top Model history. The photo shoots were a bit strange and almost veered into tacky, and the makeovers were truly questionable. But the highlight of this cycle wasn't the fashion, it was the model's personalities. We had Natasha, a sweet girl with a much older husband, and then Kathleen, who just didn't get it. But Kathleen, you had one of the best sets. It was an easy one to fit into, but I think you didn't completely understand the concept. I know, right? I didn't. Number 7. Cycle 11. Although this cycle was full of questionable remarks from the judges, the cast's diversity was refreshing and much needed. For a cycle that premiered in 2008, it was surprisingly progressive and introduced the world to Isis King, the first transgender woman to ever compete on America's Next Top Model. It blew me away. And I tell my staff, I'm like, this girl is absolutely amazing. She's got to come back for America's Next Top Model. Unlike previous years, Cycle 11 touched much more profound social issues and explored questions of ethnicity and identity. Because of this, the fighting felt much less trivial than usual. I'm not letting any of these girls bother me. I know what I'm here for. This is the person who I am. Either take it or leave it. Although, that's not to say this cycle lacked humor. Nikisha's elimination in particular stands out because she wouldn't stop talking, to the point where the credits started rolling while she was mid-speech. I do talk too much. I realize I do cut people off. Like when they say something I want to, and I'm like, okay, I'm saying something. I'm like, but uh, I'm trying to explain myself. Number six, cycle four. Even if you've never intentionally sought out an episode of America's Next Top Model before, you've probably seen a clip from Cycle 4. The clip in question being, of course, Tyra's tirade against Tiffany. I have never in my life yelled at a girl like this! When my mother yells at this, it's because she loves me! I was rooting for you! We were all rooting for you! How dare you! We're not condoning Tyra's behavior here because her reaction was totally uncalled for. But the line, we were all rooting for you, has undoubtedly become deeply embedded in pop culture. Even aside from this, this cycle was full of drama and humor from start to finish. Who could ever forget Rebecca fainting in front of the judges? You need to work on your presence. I didn't feel that you embraced. Oh my oh god! My god.
or Michelle's skin infection. I don't know whether it's like the stress or the makeup, but like these little things on my face and see? see, I don't know if that's oh like this. Not to mention the disastrous teleprompter scene. I mean, now it's the suns are shining, the skies are sparkling blue. It's a better day than this. Number five, cycle three. Unretouched photo. Oh, it's so, that's it. That's it? Whoa. That's amazing. Sending the girls to Japan took this cycle from good to great because it resulted in ridiculous but insanely entertaining challenges. Whose idea was it to get American models to do an ad for Campbell's Soup in Japanese? Today we have to do a commercial for Campbell's Soup. Everything that we have to say is in Japanese except Campbell's Select. Or an ad for umeboshi, a food that none of them had ever tasted before. The commercial is for umeboshi. None of us know what umeboshi is. We're like, it's gonna be a fish eye or something really nasty. Aside from the shenanigans that took place overseas, the cycle overall had one of the strongest cohorts of models ever. It felt like every model was bringing their A-game. This cycle also produced some of the best beauty photo shoots in the show's history. Number four, cycle two. Girl, you walk like you on crack. Your eyes were so bugged out of your head, like something just scared the hell out of you. Yamara, you did look like you were possessed. Out of the earlier cycles, Cycle 2 reigned supreme for its sheer entertainment value. Shandy's growth throughout the episodes was basically a Cinderella story, as she went from a small-town girl who consistently landed in the bottom tier to one of the top three finalists. Her good girl persona made her cheating on her longtime boyfriend with a model from Milan all the more shocking. Even though it's a really horrible thing that I did, it seems like we're close enough and we care enough about each other that we're, we're willing to, to work through it. Her phone call confession to her boyfriend back home remains the stuff of TV legend. The other girls also had their memorable quirks, from Katie's constant crying to Siamara's unique walk. Overall, the storyline of the episodes was impeccable. Everything just looks so good. Everything's come together, and I feel so pretty right now. <laughs> Number three, cycle 18. I want to sell you some toilet paper. It's scented, so your bum will be left smelling nice and fresh if you have a boyfriend. <laughs> it will be like... The show might be called America's Next Top Model, but after 17 cycles, a British invasion felt like an excellent way to spice things up. The British models brought their fresh sense of humor and amped up the competition. Pitting the Americans against the British brought out some unforgettable photo shoots like the US versus UK music videos. Like, who wouldn't crack a smile watching a music video with lyrics like, our British tooch is major? This cycle also gave us Ashley's toilet paper ad and Louise's feud with Kelly Catrone. My experience with you on the set was you were very condescending and rude to me, which no, I don't no, really no, care no, about. No, 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 you were rude to me. Number two, cycle 15. At the end of the day, America's Next Top Model is a fashion-centric show, and this season upped the ante on the fashion front. I am going to be directing you in what we call a motion editorial. For the first time, the prize fashion spread was for Vogue Italia, which spoke to the cycle's overall high fashion vibe. Zach Posen had his own line when he was 21 years old. This was backed up by the impressive and extensive lineup of guest judges, including Zach Posen, Margarita Missoni, Diane von Furstenberg, and more. Everything about this cycle was so put together and well thought out. The concepts were amazing. Life is not all about fun and games. Sometimes you have to get down to business. Watching the girls get advice from real industry pros reminded us why Tyra brought all of these girls together to discover and cultivate a successful model. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Cycle 20, the first season to introduce male contestants. We all know female models dominate the fashion industry, but when male models like Tyson Beckford, Marcus Schenkenberg, and our very own Rob Evans hit the big time, they gave us female models a run for our money. Cycle 14, the unforgettable Andre Leon Talley and the Pendulum Runway. <laughs> She felt twice. I was like, oh my gosh. Cycle one, the cycle that started them all. America's next top model is Adrian. Yes. Cycle seven, one of the craziest runway shows. AJ, when she stepped out into the spotlight and posed in front of the runway, looked absolutely breathtaking. Cycle 22. That bootyful music video is truly something to behold. We got a lip, stick it, get it good. Lip, stick it, get it good. 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Cycle 6 This cycle is the epitome of what reality TV dreams are made of. It has it all. Drama, humor, and arguably the best top three of all time. You cannot talk about season six without mentioning Jade, whose confidence was off the charts, but who didn't always have the goods to back it up. People think I'm a bitch when they first meet me because oh, I'm pretty, I have this beautiful body, but when they get to know me, I'm so cool, I'm very real. The improvised CoverGirl commercial will go down in history as one of the most hilarious challenges of all time. Each girl's shoot was pure comedy gold. She doesn't quite grasp the fact that she's got to improvise in this scene. Not to mention the cringe-inducing Wild and Out challenge, which proved that acting isn't for everyone. All the girls have been doing better than Shade has. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.